Okay, so installation of an Amix 10 mono seal, as you can see here, we have the mono seal. Now what we're doing with the mono seal is in effect we seal from pipe to pipe. As you can see, there's three double-sided sealing lips on each side of the rubber. Which when we put a pipe here and a pipe here, we're allowing the pipe still the flexibility to move underground, because as we know, pipelines do move. And the AMX seal gives our clients the confidence that his pipeline can have that slight movement and our seal will go with him. So, first thing we need to do inside the pipeline, as you can see, we've got a leaking joint, lots of groundwater coming in, beautiful places. We've got to get it clean, so we give it a rub down. This is a GRP pipe, so it's actually a lovely material to work with. We we'll still give it a rub down, look for any high spots coming off, look for any cracks in the material. Look for any point loading from the outside when they blade the pipe. Then once we've got this area cleaned up, the next one is a made to measure piece of PE polyethylene. We call it a backing band. We use this to protect the seal from pushing into this area of a joint. Because on the edge of the pipe, there'll be sharp edges. Pipelines sometimes, well, a lot of pipelines, hydro systems can run up to maximum pressures of 50 bar I've been in before. So you want to stop that rubber pushing in here, very simply, with the use of a backing band. What this does then is offers the joint some protection. Next is the seal. Now I place the seal so the backing band goes in this central region here. So that goes over the PE. Okay. And as the rubber goes off, there is our piece of made to measure EPDM in place holding itself up and as you can see it's actually stopping the water at the moment so the ring what we need to do is protect the EPDM from this point here as you can see it's a little point load here so it's slightly raised so to cover that we put over the shin and that then allows this to slide open under mechanical force but also stops this point loading into the EPDM. So now, I'll put this ring into place. Very important at this stage, this ring now will hold, if you're working in a bigger DM pipe, once you have the ring in place, your rubber's held up, so it, it lets it easier for, you, for your hands to be free so you can move around again. Very important to check the four points of the clock, so we say 12, three, six, and nine. And I need to check that this seal is sitting straight compared to the joint. So I just lift the back, check in there, check in there, and there, and there. So everything's good. So I'm now happy to open this ring up and get some compression on the ring. So the shim is going here. Put the ring into the groove, as Madonna said. And then, we take our AMX expander. So with the AMX expander, we're actually mechanically forcing out from here and here. So if you imagine, we push like this, and it keeps opening, okay? So I'll put that into place. And then I'll start putting some force onto here. Now as I'm, as I'm opening the ring up, I'm looking around the clock, around the seal, sorry, to make sure it's sitting in that groove as we've talked about, that you can see very clearly now on here. Because if, this, if the stainless steel slips out to this side, you're not compressing the sealing lips on the back edge which in theory, you're gonna have a lifted area for water to track out. So just keep checking around, feel it with your hands, keep that pressure coming on. When it gets to, I say, around 50 bar, stop everything. I 
and then we get our safety bar. So the safety bar goes in, making sure that this axis of the safety bar runs parallel directly into here. If, for example, the safety bar is like this, all that's going to happen is your expander is going to bounce, bounce off like this and move around. So we want that central oh, winder in. Man's best friend. And then what I'll do is I start applying pressure on the pump here. So as we're going up, I get it to a pressure that we'll see in our manuals or that as an installer we, we feel it on the pump to be honest. Then we'll take the soft hammer. So what I'm doing with the soft hammer, because pipelines are never round, we want to form this steel to the exact shape. With the pressure of this mechanic force pushing that way, when I hit here, it is basically settling the rubber and the steel and compressing it into any little uniform pockets with, that will appear on the pipe. So we give that a good knock around, okay? As I knock, you will see that drop. When you get this to a point where that needle will not drop and you're comfortable that the pressure is maintained, you get sent through in your package a selection of wedges. Now there will be more than this, this is just for me in this training instance. But usually the wedges go up in stages of two millimeter increments. So we'll start at about 40 millimeters, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, up until about 90 millimeters in a wedge pack that we give you. Then you drive your wedge. I'm driving the, the wedge now into this gap that is on the ring. This gap here and be sure to get it right in the H block. So I've chosen the correct wedge and I'm physically driving it now into this gap. Now that's drove in place we release the pump. now that the wedge is in place and that ring is mechanically held in place on this side of the pipe. So remember the joint pipe, joint pipe. So next is just repeating the process again. Again taking the shim to get away from the point loading here and here. Checking that's in the groove. And again, I'm just looking at the ring to make sure it's in the right sitting place. And up we go. Pressure starting to come. Safety bar back on. And away we go again. Strip all this off for you. And finally, because these wedges they come, it's a straight piece of steel. 
when you put it in, you need to form it to the radius of the pipe. So just a gentle knock on here, a knock on there, and as you can see, it's formed that radius. And that is one Amex 10 Mono installed.